Hi there, I'm Dr. Chris. And this is my introduction to seismic methods. But first, my banjo. How does a banjo tie in with seismic, you ask? You see, when I play my banjo, it produces vibrations which travel through the air to your ears where information is passed to your brain as a signal. And you recognize the sounds as coming from a banjo. The sound also bounces and reflects off the walls in this room, creating echoes. And this is where seismic comes in. But first, dolphins and bats. Here we go. Enter echolocation, which uses sound waves and echoes to determine where objects are. First, we'll look at dolphins that live in the ocean and feed on fish that swim around. To pinpoint the fish, dolphins send out a signal from their specialized organ called a melon. That signal travels through the water and reflects off the fish, sending a signal back to the dolphin. The dolphin is then able to hone in on its prey and get a very tasty treat. Now, for a while, people thought that dolphins were just mucking about but it seems they had something important to tell us. Oops. Which brings us to echolocation with respect to bats. Many bats use echolocation to find their prey, such as moths or other flying insects, while in flight. To pinpoint the moths, bats send out a high-pitched signal or chirp. The signal travels through the air and reflects off the moths, sending a signal back to the bats. The bat is then able to hone in on its prey and get a very tasty treat. Now, to bring it back to seismic, what we want to do is send sound waves through the earth and listen for the resulting reflections. We can use an explosion, a heavy weight, or a vibrating source to send sound waves through the earth and listen for the echoes just like an echolocation. To start off with seismic, we are going to look at a very simple setup. Here we have a cross-section of the Earth with several major geological contacts. We will first look at an explosive source that is drilled to a specific depth prior to detonation. We zoom in to observe the source. The shot is fired and a signal propagates to the Earth much like in echolocation. The explosion is the seismic source and the propagation is called the seismic wave. Now, we also need specialized ears on the ground called geophones, which pick up signals such as reflections that pass through the Earth. As you're about to see, these reflections can get quite complex. In this case, we have multiple reflections and multiple transmissions from multiple layers within the Earth. Now, this is even a simple animation compared to the complexity of a real situation. To simplify even more, we look at reflections and transmissions from only a single layer. The geophones detect the wavefronts and, as we'll see in a future video, help us image the Earth. To simplify further, now we will look at only the reflected signals from a single layer within the Earth. To complicate the situation even further, let's bring in a vibrating source which sends a sweep of known frequency range through the Earth. As you can see, even in a one-layer reflection and transmission situation, we have a very complex result. I will cover vibes in a future video. To recap, sound travels through the Earth much like it travels through water in the case of dolphins or air in the case of bats. The sound bounces off different layering within the Earth and those reflections are picked up by geophones which help us make a picture of what the subsurface looks like. Quite a few more videos to come. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, add me to your LinkedIn, or even better, share these videos through your networks. Till next time, I'm Dr. Chris, and keep rocking.
To recap, sound travels through the earth much like it travels through water, in the case of dolphins, or bats, in the case of air, 